and here on the top I want to do a like a platform for for yoga meditation for sitting circles with a nice view yeah this yeah, will be the main step. the main point for meeting Everybody, we are finally back home in the mountains. We are greeted by some rain that is inviting in the abundance of fruits that will <laughs> invite us to be, to harvest them in the upcoming months. Durian season is coming soon, mangosteen season is coming soon, jackfruit season is coming soon. Right now we still have the mango season. I just stopped on the way at the local market. Look at this. This whole bag, I think it's around 12 kilos. It's just apucat, dan manga, mangoes and avocados. Oh, harumanis, super sweet. So yeah, the week of preparing is over. So now, execution mode, let's go. Beautiful. This place is our temporary home base until Castodia is ready for us to move in. Until then we're gonna stay here. Beautiful place. Already stayed here for, for a while. I love it. Right now it's very cloudy but maybe tomorrow we're gonna be able to see the mountains from here. And it's clear sky. I love this place so much. <laughs> we are almost exactly in the center of this island, in the center, in the heart of Mama Bali. This is where Castodia will be created. Only a couple of minutes from here, very close by. The land is just a, throw, a stone's throw away. Sieben. Sieben? Okay. Sieben. Ja, ich weiß gar nicht, ob ich es richtig Hier, Hier. Hier. Und los geht's. What's your first impression? When you arrived here, um, geerdet und heißt es? Hmm. Nee, ich überlege, wie es auf Englisch heißt. Also earthing ist es ja nicht, sondern wie grounded. Ist die grounded. Ja. Beginning is here, where the papayas are. It's so quiet. Quite quiet. Ach, hör doch auf! Ah, Crazy. Ich freue mich auf die erste, erste Papaya von hier, die wird auf jeden Fall oh, ein Highlight. Die ist echt, die Cookie wird schon ein bisschen gelblich. Wir haben ein Meeting mit Adi, um, who will maybe um, do the construction part, like the little construction part that we're gonna do. Just the platforms for the little tents and kitchen and bathroom and so on. Derek, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. good. Hi, nice. Mara. Adi, nice to meet you. If you use uh, wood, yeah, you need high quality yeah. of wood, like yeah. iron wood. Yeah. Do you mean for like for the stability? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I would prefer. I would definitely prefer the wood. The thing is, um, this is a green zone too, so we can build here, but only semi-permanent. Semi-permanent. Like everything yeah. with like a lot of lot of concrete. Mm -hmm. 
I think the local village will not will not like. So if it's possible with the with the wood, that's definitely preferable. Mm -hmm. But for the tent, uh, because it's like the slope, mm -hmm. I really like to put the tent on a platform where, of course, here you need to have like okay, a okay, yeah, so I understand. A bit higher up, I understand, yeah, um, and it's nice for the view too. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then from the front, you can you can really see the little. Yeah. The pot, so I don't want to make the whole land flat. Just um, I understand yeah, what like you mean, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. My friend, I work in uh, work with someone in uh, Ar uh, Tratai Architecture. She is from London, uh -huh. and uh, last time she bring student from Oxford uh -huh. Kiss University, uh -huh. and we visit Ibuku, mm -hmm. Bambuyu. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can see a little bit of the view. A little bit you can see. Really nice. yeah. Here's the Mount Adeng this way and here's Mount Atukaru up here. And here on the top I want to do a like a platform for for yoga meditation yoga, for sitting yoga. circles with a nice view. Yeah, this yeah, will be the main step. the main point for meeting. Can you see this? I don't know. Oh my god. Yes, yes. And over there, there is one. Look at that. There's one light. You see it? Yeah. This is uh, our neighbor. Oh, not focusing there. That's our neighbor. This is Batukaru Coffee Estate retreat space, and they cook incredibly delicious dinner. And um, if they have, no, if they don't have a retreat, maybe we can use their shala too. So this is super nice especially for the beginning when we don't have all the facilities by ourselves they have a i think between five and ten hectares um permaculture farm and they are growing like almost everything by themselves so I think this is one of the best neighbors you can have wow the moon look at that wow i just brought this little cutie to bed. <laughs> Fell asleep instantly. Oh. <laughs> mm, friends, Custodia is forming. Let me share with you the document that I prepared for for Adi. Um, the little briefing. What the current like? The side plan is not nowhere near. Um, nowhere near of being finished but slowly it's forming slowly it's forming in my imagination there are certain things that are getting more and more clear and more and more obvious we have the like the land is on two sides there's a little road and then there's the upper part the upper part is where we went today in the video and the lower part is where we, is what we explored um, two weeks ago I'll link the video for you here if you want to see that and I sense that the upper part of the land might be more of a community feeling with a big platform with a tarp and a, and a tent for sitting outdoors and sitting indoors with an open kitchen um, and another wooden platform next to that for dining with a bathroom and a little storage shack and a compost and of course more fruit trees and veggies. So the upper part of the land might be where action is going on where we invite people where we gather where we where we eat where we prepare where we like the movement practices circles and so on and the lower part of the land might be more of a more quiet more private area where all the tents are going to be where we stay and down there there's a there's a river um to jump in in the morning a little separate um, part for for doing some some online work, little workspace for doing calls or focused work, um, writing writing books and crafting masterpieces that want to be crafted, and yeah, of course a bathroom too. Yeah, that's roughly what this studio might look like in phase one. Of course, this is not the end. It's just the beginning. That's a setup that might be feasible in the next three months, so that by December first, our 
first cohort of custodians who are coming to Bali, the second cohort in total. Yeah, men already gather on the land. And then in phase two, we're going to shift the tents to more permanent structures, like little cabins made from, bo fr from uh, wood or from bamboo. But yeah, in the beginning, we're going to start as simple, as easy, as quick, as nimble as possible. And for that, the tents are ideal. Hmm, tomorrow morning, we're gonna meet at the land again with another person. And yeah, I can tell you, many things are happening right now each and every day. It's very exciting. <laughs> Looking forward to share all that with you. See you tomorrow.